We were all trying to make ourselves attractive places for songs to land. Believing, knowing that old songs like heartbreak, tobacco, old cars, pool holes, lipstick, hats, alcohol and motels. And they like folks that stay up all night long. But you don't catch songs at this time like moths or lizards. Rather they, the songs themselves, have places and people that they visit like ghosts. We were all busy loving music, but moreover, wanting music to love us, and for songs to love being around us, the way some are good with animals, or clay, or children, or old people, or ships. It felt as if we shared the experience of having been abducted by songs, and the hangover, the bandage, the night in jail, the wrecked car, the tattoo, the broken window, or the wine stains on the carpet were evidence of the scars to prove it. And the songs I hear in my throat like a lightning bug. Some will die before morning, and they will be sung out, but never again. And others will be like riddles, and each time they are sung, a new ring of understanding is discovered or revealed to you. Some of these songs are like old pictures with big ears, out of focus, taped together. Some are footprints or bird baths or scratches on a new car. Songs don't like to be recorded any more than birds like to be put in boxes, or children like to sit still in barber's chairs. But you do want songs to be such that if they are ever heard, they wouldn't be embarrassed.